the mind is constantly active. Thinking about this, planning that, remembering this. Even when meditate, it's an activity, but it's a restful activity. Which is why it's one of the important skills that we need to develop, because otherwise the mind just gets used, used, used all the time. And the only rest it gets is when it's asleep. And even that is not necessarily all that refreshing, all that strengthening. So in order to use the mind well, you need to know how to let it rest with an activity that's a lot less wearing on the mind, and actually improve your strength. Because when you're really mindful, the mind is going to settle down. Mindfulness doesn't mean just passively accepting what's coming along or stopping your mental functions. It means remembering there are things to be done and what should be done right now. And that's a quality you want to develop all the time, so that you make sure that your activities do fall in line with what you really want to do in life. So right now, remember the mind needs to rest. This is a good time to rest. Let it just stay with the breath. Keep watch over it. That's the activity of the meditation, keeping watch, keeping focused, and adjusting the breath so it feels good. There will come a stage in the concentration where you don't need to adjust the breath anymore, and even that amount of thinking can go down, leaving just the perception of breath, 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 which is still an activity, but it's restful, easeful. It doesn't require a lot of intelligence, doesn't require a lot of ingenuity or imagination. The imagination gets used when you're doing your evaluation, because you're trying to get the mind to fit in with the breath, the breath to fit with the mind, so that they're snug together. It's like fitting a set of drawers into a cabinet. You put the drawer in, and this little part is too big, and this little part is too small, so you shave away the parts that are too big, and to finally you get to the point where the drawer, drawer fits nice and snugly. And then you don't have to think about shaving anymore. You just use the drawer. And the same with the concentration. You adjust the breath into the point where it's good enough to settle down with. And then you just stay there and protect the mind. And the mind gets rest. At the same time, it's strengthened. This is the advantage of meditation over sleep. Sleep doesn't require any talents at all, any skills at all. But with concentration, you have to get any sense of when's the time to think, when's not the time to think, where to stay focused, how to keep watch over the mind to make sure it doesn't blur out or wander away. So there's a little bit of work there. But it's work that strengthens the mind and is work in the context of a sense of well-being. This is why it's restful with the mind at the same time that it's strengthening. And this is a talent that everybody should have, because we all use our minds way too much, especially now with all the screens and everything that keep us entertained. Everything goes into our eyes, our visual field. We need to reconnect with our physical field, what they call proprioception, your sense of the body as you feel it from within. And that way the mind gets a good foundation, it has a home where it can rest and gain its strength, relax, and learn about how it builds homes. That's the, the discernment. But in the meantime, you just want to learn how to rest and relax. So the, when the time comes that you really need to use your mind for other things, it's ready and strong. So try to add this to your repertoire, because it's a necessary skill for the well-being of the mind.